My name's Jenny King and I'm the chemotherapy specialist nurse at Brighton and Sussex University Trust Hospital. Chemotherapy is drug treatment for cancer and it can be given in a number of ways, intravenously, so injected into a vein or in tablet form. Chemotherapy can be given on its own or it can be used in conjunction with other treatments such as surgery or radiotherapy. Chemotherapy works by interfering with cell division, so it gets into your bloodstream and attacks the cancer cells wherever they are and stops them from dividing and multiplying. It is important for patients to tell their oncologist about the type of medication they're already taking, as that might have uh, an influence on the chemotherapy treatment that they require. Some chemotherapy treatments can be given at home and might involve taking tablets. Most chemotherapy is given as an outpatient, in an outpatient unit, and some treatments are given on a ward. When you come into the chemotherapy unit, the first thing you'll see is a room with comfortable reclining chairs. Um, everyone will be in their own clothes. Um, you'll be able to sort of relax and eat and drink while you're having treatment. Your chemotherapy treatment could take a few minutes or it could actually take several hours. When you have chemotherapy, you wouldn't normally feel anything at all. Um, if you do feel unwell, then it's important to let your chemotherapy nurse know straight away. Chemotherapy is usually given um, as a number of cycles of treatment. and That will depend on the type of chemotherapy that you need, or the type of cancer that you have. Um, it's usual for chemotherapy to be given every one, two or three weeks, so that allows your body to have a rest period in between treatments. I've been having chemotherapy for um, about four months and this is, uh, I've had six sessions and this is my last session today. Before I came here I expected it to be um, uh, a row of beds, metal beds, and everybody was just lying there. But it's quite casual, you can bring your lunch, bring a friend and uh, do what you want to really, watch a film, read. So it's, it's quite a nice rest actually, you, know, you don't have to do any washing up or <laughs> anything. It's natural to feel scared about some of the possible side effects of chemotherapy, but everybody reacts differently and it's unlikely you're going to experience all of the side effects. The most common ones are feeling very tired after treatment or also feeling sick, but there's plenty of things that we can do to help you with that, so it's important to let us know if you're experiencing any side effects. I get pains in my lower legs and my lower arms about four days after I've had the chemotherapy. That goes away after about um, three days. Uh, and then a bit tired towards the end of um, getting towards the end of the treatments. Uh, but nothing that's not insurmountable. One of the concerns is that chemotherapy patients will lose their hair. Um, first of all, not everybody will lose their hair. It does depend a lot on what type of chemotherapy you're going to have. But even if you are going to experience hair loss, then we can give you help and advice about wigs and hair care to try and minimise that. Some of the other common side effects of chemotherapy are an increased risk of infection. So it's really important to let your doctor or nurse know straight away if you think you're coming down with any signs of infection, such as a fever, high temperature, feeling unwell. I think the chemotherapy is a small price to pay for what I am hoping will be a cure for what I've got. There's lots of information on the Macmillan website about all types of chemotherapy or if you have any concerns you can call the Macmillan support line.